May I have Miss Zarkin's suite, please? Yes? Oh, Michelle. I just wanted to say hello. Tell you how much I've missed you. Oh, I've missed you too, darling. Oh, yes, of course I do. But I can't talk now. Soon, very soon. Bye-bye. You were listening. I'm sorry. I couldn't help overhearing. You were talking to Michelle, weren't you? What if I was? I love him. Your father doesn't approve. Or you'd save yourself so much unhappiness if you forgot all about him. My father never approves of any of the men I like. Well, he only does what he thinks is best for you. Best for me? My father tries to run my life like he runs his businesses. Balance sheets have proved that I have certain assets. And they have to be protected against any unprofitable merger. Well, I am sick of it. And you can tell him what I said in your report. My report? Oh, that's what you're paid for, isn't it? You'd better get dressed. When I'm ready. And you can hang those up. Exactly as planned. So relax. It might be an appropriate moment for a toast to the successful kidnap of Lisa Zorakin. I've got a better one. To the half a million dollar ransom. That's odd, considering I'm exhausted. Exhausted? <laughs> you never look better in your life. That jacket is a nice cut, kid. Daniel, I've mm. driven 500 miles nonstop. All I want to do is get into a nice hot bath, have a long soak, and an early night. <laughs> a long soak and an early night, huh? Yes. That's for uh, babies and old ladies. Yes, well, old ladies is what I'm going to be unless I get some sleep. But you don't need any sleep. What you need is a soak, okay? And I'll lay out your clothes for you. How's that? Daniel, I have news for you. Mm. I don't need to dress to go to bed. Oh, I see. Lord Sinclair? Come here, yes. Now, I've no idea what is going on in that devious little mind of yours, but uh, whatever it is, forget it. Now, look. All I want you to do is do me a favor. No. Now, what kind of answer is that? I mean, would I turn you down? Of course. <laughs> have I ever failed you? Frequently. Now, look. There are these two girls. Uh, yes, there always are. Now, the one for you is beautiful, mm -hmm. delicate, yes. exquisite. You're going exquisite. to love her. And what's yours She's like? She's okay, but you're going to love the girl I have for you. Yes, I have yeah. a feeling I'm being driven straight into an ambush. Turn around, take a look. 
And she's the ugly one. Oh. <laughs> uh, Lisa, I'd like you to meet my good friend, Brett. This is Brett, Lisa. My friend Daniel insulted you. He only said you were stunningly beautiful. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Well, you can uh, let go. She's not going to fall down. Oh. This is Mary. Mary, I'd like you to meet Brett. You two are going to have a lot in common over dinner. How do you do? That would be nice. We've got to drive into town to get a few things, but we'll be back in 40 minutes. Okay. See you later. <laughs> Bye, Mary. Goodbye. Mary. <laughs> you toad. What? You just sprung the ambush. What are you talking about? She's beautiful. You don't know anything, beautiful, do you? Yes. Right, you I'm going upstairs anything. now, Daniel, and I'm going to devise the most horrible and terrible revenge oh. possible. Oh. Yeah. Take him to the toy department. All the excitement. It's Lisa. What about She's her? being kidnapped. Kidnapped? Oh, I'm going to get into terrible trouble over this. Mr. Sorikin will never forgive me. Conrad Sorikin? Yes. Is he a relation? Yes, he's, he's Lisa's father. He's on his way here now. Well, what, trying to get him on the car phone to tell him what's happened. Well, where's Danny? Oh, I don't, I don't know. He was outside when it happened. But it all happened so quickly. I, I don't know what Miss happened. Miss Bradford? Yes. I have Mr. Sorikin for you. Oh, uh, thank you. None of the guests to leave the hotel. I want the police chief waiting for me when I get there. And I want the hotel switchboard kept clear for incoming calls. And keep me informed of the developments. I'll get there as soon as I can. What is it? Lisa has been kidnapped. Use all the speed we got. From the Madrid office. We're going to need some money. Now, please don't forget that he wants to see the chief of police the moment he arrives and the telephone switchboard kept absolutely clear. Is that understood? Very good, Miss Bagg. Thank you very much. Is there anything I can do to help? Oh, thank you. Mr. Wilde did all he could. He tried to help me. Then he went after them in his car. Oh. Well, at least that's something. Oh, come on, don't worry. Danny will bring her back. I hope so. I certainly hope so. Passada un cocha para aquí, uh, car past. Uh, gracias. No, uh, thanks.
out of motion. Higher. Oh. You all right? What's the matter with you? Where'd you come from? The same place as this. <coughs> We'd lost you. Uh, no, you didn't, but if you'd like me to leave, I'll go. Oh, you don't like that, huh? Can I sit down? Well, if you've got any suggestions, I'm more than ready to hear anything. I have. And not you. You punch too hard. Now, shut up. There is no choice. No. No, I think he might be very useful. You're staying. I could do, Mr. Zorakin. I, I tried to. All stop. right, all right, all right. Who's in charge here? Uh, this gentleman. You? Who are you? Inspector Santos. I wish to assure you that everything possible is being done. Well, I wouldn't expect less. I'll have a full report from you in a minute. Any ransom note yet? Nothing. Well, it will come. Our main hope is that we hear from the American that went after them. American? Yes. A friend of mine. Danny Wilde. Wilde? Uh, Lord Sinclair. And you do? Wilde, you say? Well, it is possible. How was he involved? Oh, Mary saw it all. Oh, well, I, I was struggling with him. Then Mr. Wilde ran up, and we were both thrown to the ground. Or he tried to pull you off. Oh, no. No, no, I'm sure he was trying to help. It's possible. It's ridiculous. He followed with a car. To join his friends. <laughs> Mr. Zorokin, I'll make allowance for the fact that you're worried. But I think you're being rather fanciful. I overlook nothing. I know Wilde. We were competitors in a recent business transaction. I got what I wanted and he lost a great deal of money. And you think Danny would kidnap your daughter to get even? I said it's possible. But I said it's ridiculous. I want a description of Wilde issued right away. I want him picked up. You can't do that. You'll find there's very little I can't do. I'm sorry if I implicated your friend. It's not your fault. I think I'll uh, take a look around. Danny should have been back by now. You never know. Is this? Danny Wilds. Half a million dollars. We'll contact you. It has to be a setup. Arrange for the money. And an additional hundred thousand dollars for the man who will kill him. service. You might as well eat while you can. Yeah. Get back. What happens next? As soon as we get the money, you'll be free to go. Sometime tonight, I imagine. I see. And uh, you expect me to go back to the hotel and um, not say anything? Hmm? Well, that's up to you. But frankly, I don't think it will be that easy. Zorakin will have paid up. You'll be wanting revenge, and you will be the target. Half a million dollars. You heard from them? 
A phone call, very fast. No chance of tracing it. Oh, well, what are you supposed to do with the money? We'll come to that in a minute. I want you to deal with this. Oh, why? I checked you out. You're honest, and you know how to handle yourself. Well, no, isn't that interesting? Because I checked you out, too. Really? Hmm. You didn't come out of it too well. Strong rumors of uh, connections with organized crime syndicates. Talk, just talk. Well, what about the Senate hearings in 57 and 58? There was never enough evidence to bring any charges. Mr. Zorakin sued and won damages against a number of newspapers that made scurrilous accusations. Thank you, Patterson. Don't think we have to explain to Sinclair. My record is clean. Well, let's say you've been lucky. I've always done what I had to do to get what I wanted. All I want now is for you to handle this business. I still want to know why me. <laughs> Surely it can't have escaped your checkout that I am a close friend of Danny Wilde's. That's why you can talk sense to him, make sure he doesn't try anything fancy. I want Lisa back, and that's all that matters for the moment. Then let me tell you one more time, Danny has nothing to do with this. I don't believe it, but I'm giving you the chance to prove you're right. Will you do it? All right, on one condition. Go on. You don't send any of your trigger-happy friends here out looking for Danny until I get back and he has a chance to explain. Agreed. I expect you back here at midnight with Lisa, or there'll be a lot of trigger-happy people looking for you. Where do I take this? There's a deserted village called Condos. About three miles beyond, on the road, there'll be a marker. You take the money there and wait for further instructions. is empty. Nothing in sight. Good. Has he found the radio? Yeah. Now, are you sure nobody spotted him? I told you, he's on his own. And it looks like he's obeying instructions. Let's get on with it. Listen closely and follow my directions in every detail. Get some money and start into the woods and follow the track. Keep going until I tell you to stop. That's all. He's on his way. I can smell the money from here. Come on. you are. Now, put the case on the ground. Now, go back to your car and drive off. Lisa will be back at her hotel in a couple of hours. Beautiful. Michel was right. He said Zorakin wouldn't take any chances with his daughter. Nothing. 
you did think I was going to leave half a million dollars lying around, did you? Where's Lisa? Try and find her. Well, that's what I was going to do, but now you're going to help me. I, I tell you nothing. Oh, what odds are you giving? <laughs> Where's Lisa? Where is she? <laughs> you're feeling better. I don't want you to worry about anything. Uh... I'm all right. Excuse me. Ah, uh, Brett, what do you want to do with this one? I'll lock him up with the other one. Yeah. The police can pick him up later. Okay. Let him go. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh. I'm sorry, Lisa. It's gone wrong. Uh, Daniel, do you uh, have the feeling the rug's been pulled out from under our feet? I don't know why you're acting like this. We've why did you have to spoil everything? Why did you have to interfere? <laughs> We should have heard something by now. I'm sure Sinclair will contact us the moment he has any news. Something has gone wrong. I, I feel it. I, I just feel it. I wish there was something we could do. There's a great deal we can do. You said they could have until midnight. I know what I said. We'll give them a little longer. Something has gone wrong. All right. Uh, whose idea was it to stage the phony kidnap? Mine. Mine. Hmm? Uh, well, we both hmm. sort of developed it. Why? If you wanted to get married, why didn't you just ask good old Big Daddy? Yeah. You don't know my father. Oh, yes, I do, and I don't happen to like him. But then again, I'm not his daughter. Well, I wish I wasn't. I take it your father doesn't approve of Michelle. And when he found out I was seeing Lisa, he had detectives check on me. I had no money and no job. I want to be a writer, so immediately I was marked down as unsuitable. Zorik even offered money not to see Lisa again. Well, listen, you're both over 21. Why didn't you just uh, take off? Well, how could we? Michelle has nothing. I have no money of my own. How could we? Some people do, you know. Anyway, my father can afford it. Why shouldn't he give us something? Well, that's no way to try to get money out of your father. But, your lordship. Thank you, Daniel. Now, these uh, two other guys, I mean, uh, where do they figure in this? Well, I hired them to help. They were going to get $5,000 each. It would all have worked. The kidnap looked real. Everybody believed it. Why did you have to go and interfere? Because, my dear Guinevere, Sir Lancelot here involved my friend Daniel. Now, that was a mistake. I know that now. But at the time, it seemed as if he'd take the attention off us. And you did, believe me, you did. Why, Mr. Zorikin was all set to offer contracts to every gun-happy assassin in Europe. And he still might, if we don't get you back. We must get you back. Daniel? I haven't started my grub yet, kid. Would you like to die on a full stomach? Are you trying to give me heartburn? Come on, let's go. Go where? Back to tell dear old dad exactly what you told us. Oh, no, I'm not going back to him. Excuse me. As far as we're concerned, you can go and do anything you want to well, do. Well, then why did you let us go? We can't. The entire Spanish police force is looking for Daniel, not to forget the bounty hunters. Now, he will not be off the hook until you and the money are returned. After that, you two young lovers can sort out your love life together. Right. Now, does that answer your question? No, I'm not going anywhere. Okay. Please. I'll take care of you. Thank you, Daniel. Now, Michelle. Michelle, do something. Please. I'm, I'm sorry, Lisa. Well, at least some of around here. Michelle! Uh, just calm down. I don't see any reason for you to get so excited. Now, just oh. wait, will you? Oh. Now, will you wait a minute? Let go. Take the other. Oh. The other, will you? Thank you. 
parcel. Oh, you know something? I'm going to give your father money to take you back. I've got I'm it out. I'm not going back. You're, you're, you're going back. back. Red, now, what are we going to do with Daniel? Daniel, I have a night. That was good thinking, pal. Uh, she you're deserved a it. smart kid, I'll tell you that. I don't feel one bit guilty. What's to feel guilty? What are you talking about? All right, now, what's the plan? What do you got to do? Well, we stop at the first telephone and uh, call Zorokin. Then we pick up the money and then deliver the entire package to the hotel. <laughs> I love it. I love it. You're a smart guy. Oh! You want to kidnap her anyway? Uh, just calm down. Sit down and be quiet. Buenos dias, señor. Buenos dias, Daniel. Buenos dias. Have a couple of bottles, your very best. And, uh, and a Mickey Finn for the young lady, or preferably a shot of chloroform. Yes, uh, señor. They're lovers having their first tip. Now, do you have a telephone I might yes, use? Yes, señor. Thank you. I hate you! They are truly lovers, señor. Hmm. American. Ah, see. Sí. The telephone. This way, señor. Hey, will you, will you calm down? Ow! Now look. Red, will you hurry up? Red! Uh, Mr. Zorakin, please. Danny, bring her over. Now will you stop? Uh, Zorakin, Sinclair. We've got her. Good, good. They've got her. Is she all right? Oh, yes. <laughs> Alive and kicking. Very much so. Yes. Oh, there's quite a story to tell. By the way, I didn't spend the money. I didn't spend the money. I don't want no, it. I, uh, I, I left. Um, I don't want it. I, I have to stop a condos to pick it up. Well, tell me everything when you get here. Uh, is Lisa there? Put her on. You what? Oh, you want to talk to her? Oh, yes. He wants to talk to you. Father? Yes, I'm all right. Don't trust them. Danny Wilde planned it all. He kidnapped me. This is a trick to get some more money. <laughs> Hello? Oh, oh, yes, this is all right. All right. Look, put Lisa back on. Well, what did she mean? I want to talk to her. You, you can talk to her all you want when we get back. <laughs> she doesn't understand, poor child, what's going on. <laughs> oh, we'll talk later. Oh, oh talk of local. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. She's sorry. Now he'll never let me marry him. Please let me go back to Michelle. I don't care about the money. No, look, look, let, let's just talk to your father first, then you can go any way you want to. Oh. Yes, not rich now. Stop it. Yes, help yourself. Gracias, señor. De nada, de nada. We're going to Condos to collect the money. Get the men in the cars. We're going up there to meet them. It'd be terrible if you weren't here. Don't joke on it. What is it? Did you find it? Huh? Oh, he found it. Oh, that's my boy. Well, don't feel so bad. Listen, you gotta win some, lose some. Take the money and run. I'm trying to think how to tell my father. He's going to be so angry. Well, it's quite simple. You just tell him that you and Michelle wish to be married. I suppose so. Will you stay with me while I tell him? Yeah, we'll be around. I'd appreciate that. It'll be our pleasure. <sighs> oh! Uh. Open this door! <laughs> Open it! Well, no car. Yeah, no money. And no girl. You know, uh, her father's not going to believe it. He's going to kill us. Well, I don't know. I mean, after we tell him what's happened, talk to him man to man, explain oh, the situation. Oh, you think he'll listen? Well, of course he's going to listen. Then he's going to kill us. Come on, faster, faster. 
You know, I've given our situation a lot of thought, examined every angle, considered every avenue. You reached a conclusion? I have. Which is? We're in bad trouble. Well, I, too, have given the matter considerable thought. And I'm sorry, I think you're wrong. Why? We are in desperate trouble. Why don't we just walk into town, tell Zorik and everything that's happened? What can he do? We're about to find out. Who do you think it's him? Without doubt. Right. You, you do all the talking. Why? I can't think of anything to say. You do it all, kid. <laughs> Hi, Zori. Mr. Zorikin. All right, where is she? I'll tell him. I'm going to, but in my own way. Your daughter, Mr. Zorikin, is, uh, is a very high-spirited girl, knows her own mind. Is she here? No. Not exactly, that is. Then where is she? She's looking after the money. And where is that? That's what we're talking about. So far, you have told me exactly nothing. Now I want to hear it. All of it. Where is Lisa? I thought it would be the police. What happened? It's a long story. They were going to take me to the hotel. But what does it matter now? It's not important. Listen, I hate to break this up, but we should get out of here. No, he's right. The police will be swarming over this place in no time. Don't worry, darling. Everything is exactly as it was. Now we can go on with our plan. Not anymore. We didn't get the money. My dowry. Oh my God. Aren't I clever? I don't know how you did it, Lisa, but that's, that's fantastic. We still have problems. Wilde and Sinclair will tell your father the whole story. They'll tell him you were in on it. Let them. He'll never believe them. You're lying. I don't think he believes us. I don't think so. Lisa wouldn't do that to me. It's my daughter you're talking about. She wouldn't do that. I know her too well. Oh, are you sure? I mean, how much time have you spent with her during the last five years? Do you know her at all? I didn't come here to get a lecture in parenthood. You set this up. You arranged the whole thing. I don't know what you're talking about, Zorkin. I gave you a beating on that offshore oil deal, and now you're trying to get even. No, you're just getting yourself all Where is she? I don't know where. Where is Lisa? Well, I would say uh, probably halfway to the border by now. You're going to tell me the truth one way or another. Now hold it! Go, Daniel. Go ahead. Did I say something wrong? Daniel, a thought just occurred to me. What's that? They could shoot through these things. Hey! Well, that's going to demand of you the supreme Prince sacrifice. Yes, very funny. Why don't you see where that ladder goes? All right. It broke. If we could make a break for it, we could get to Zarkin's car. How are we going to make a break for that car now? Will you get serious? You're going to have to be negative about it, Daniel. Break. Somebody has to make a move. started shooting. Are you complaining? No, I'm not complaining. No, I'm complaining.
Coach Casper, yeah? What we told you about your daughter was true. I don't believe it. Don't mind if we uh, borrow the car, do you? Daniel, are you driving or shall I? No, I'll drive. Then get the keys. The keys. Thank you. Zorkin's not going to give up that easily. He'll spend the rest of his life looking for us. Not if we get him back, Lisa. And where do we find him? Hmm? Well, I think we ought to start at the cottage. Good thinking, Daniel. Hmm. There you are. You take much of share. It's up to you if you give it to him. He'll probably be running for his life. Thanks. Well, that's it, I guess. We had some bad moments there. All that matters is it turned out right. I'll take your car. Good luck, both of you. I'm sorry I won't be at the wedding. So am I, Kurt. Thank you. See you around, maybe. I'll be the same. Oh, darling, think of it. Think of it. Tomorrow we'll be out of the country. We'll be starting a life of our own. We'll be able to have all the things we always talked about. I'll be away from my father. We'll be together. That's what matters. Just the two of us. No, Lisa. You're not coming with me. What are you saying? What are you talking about? I've got what I wanted right here. That's all that matters. You were never even part of my future. But we planned it. We planned it together. I planned it. All the way. Goodbye, Lisa. I wish I could say it's been fun, but it hasn't. But well, don't worry. Your father will always buy you somebody else. Where's Michelle? It ended up right more by luck than judgment. Yes. From now on, we go exactly as planned. Hmm? Fine. The motel, yes, I could meet you there in about an hour. Fine. Yes, it's a nice feeling, isn't it? We're rich. Bye. Lisa, try to remember something that happened, something he said or did that might give us a lead. No, nothing. No, it's important, the place, the time, anything. I told you, I don't know and I don't care. It's not important. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Ah, uh, habla Senor Santos. Inspector. Oh, Inspector Santos. Oh, hi. Danny Wilde. Listen, Lisa's here with us and the uh, guy that's put on the snatch is probably on his way to the border. I will have an alert put out immediately. I'll contact you if I hear anything. At once. Mrs. Zorkin, what's happened? Everything has happened. Any news here? Wilde just called. Lisa's safe. Lisa is with him. So I understand. Everything's all right. I, I don't understand. They've got my car. They've got my money. They've got my daughter. How can everything be all right? Santos, I want those men caught. You understand? Naturalmente, senor. There are three border crossings he could head for. Well, what do you think? That one. No yeah. question. Well, we'll get to this one. Frontier straight ahead, about three miles. Fini, espèce de merdeur!
room service? A cabin 40. I'd like a bottle of champagne and two glasses. Right away, thank you. Oh, French champagne. No, Daniel. No record of my car or any other car, for that matter. Let's try the next one. Santos. Sí. Sí. ¿A dónde? Muy bien. Enseguida que puedas algo para allá. What is it? Sinclair's car was seen. Where? Here. Yes? Yes, we're going that way now. All right, thank you. The car was seen going through a radio. Well, we're on that road now. Well, it's a straight road, no turn-offs. And border control says he hasn't shown up there. Well, then he's somewhere in between, right? Can't be too many hotels on this road. Let's see if he's holed up anyway. Success. Checked in about an hour ago, cabin 40. I thought you... Alisa, what the... How did you find me? <coughs> Hi, pal. How's the kidnap business? You know, Daniel, I don't think he's very pleased to see us. Well, he should be. We've yes. saved him, boy. Oh, we're here to protect you, young man. Right from Lisa. <laughs> You've no idea. She could have torn you into a oh, thousand pieces. Geez. My goodness, look at this, Daniel. What's that? Money, champagne. Yes. He certainly knows how to live, yes, doesn't right, he? Well, you so. better hurry yourself. Mr. Zarekin's waiting. Would you care for a glass? I the money. Oh, Daniel. Why did you have to do that? Well, it seemed like a good idea at the time. I mean, well, why shouldn't I? Well, it means we'll have to carry him out to the car. Oh, I never thought of that. Come on, give me a hand. Leave him alone. Talk about surprises. Give me the money. I uh, imagine you must be the brains behind this whole business. I mean, it couldn't be him. He's far too stupid. I set it up, if that's what you mean. And believe me, a quarter of a million is hardly enough for putting up with her for all this time now. Give me the money. Uh, Mary, I hate to tell you, but you're way out of character. I mean, English gentlewomen do not go around pointing guns at people. Keep away. Uh, the only value of a gun is if you intend to use it. And I don't think you will. I wouldn't risk it. Well, just think about it. You kill me, it's only the beginning. You'll then have to kill Daniel oh. and Lisa. And you wouldn't want to do that, would you? Now, give me the gun. Please. Give me the gun. Daniel, I, uh, <clears throat> I don't think it's going to work. It always works in movies. Goodbye. I run along, my dear. You'll be late. Mm -hmm. So long. Well, gentlemen, anything you want, anything in the world. Mm -hmm. I was wrong, and I'm prepared to admit it. Okay, you admitted it. No, you could spend a little more time with Lisa. Be a father to her. You never know. You might even get to like each other. Oh, I intend to. Depend on it. Now, Danny, huh? you and I, we are both in oil. Right, oil. <laughs> now, you want to expand a little right. bit? Expand as well. Open right. up new markets, mm -hmm. uh, go into oil freight. Now, if you and Lisa were to uh, get together, marry even, we might uh, combine our resources. Where did he go? Oh, you said the magic word. Marriage. Well, Danny's a nice boy, but... Uh, you have a title, look good on the notepaper, 
Now, if you were to join the family, we might even get you a seat on the board. <laughs> 